Hello everyone. Now we know how an AC generator works. It works based on the principle of electromagnetic induction and produces alternating current. That is the electrical current that periodically reverses direction. As we saw, after every half rotation, the direction of the current in the two arms of the coil changes. So, how to get a direct current? DC stands for direct current which does not change its direction with time. You know, to generate direct current, a split ring type commutator must be used. In case you forgot, a device that reverses the direction of flow of current through a circuit is called a commutator. Thus, an electric generator that produces direct current is called a DC generator. So, how does a DC generator work? Let us see. Now, do you remember the arrangement for a simple electric motor in our earlier lessons? It consisted of a rectangular coil ABCD which was kept in a magnetic field. Here, the two ends of the coil were connected to two halves that is P and Q of a split ring. Also, the inner sides of these halves are insulated and attached to an axle. Now, the half rings can rotate freely around the axle creating motion while the external conducting edges of the two half rings that is P and Q touch the two conducting brushes which are X and Y. And in this case of electric motor, the motion of coil was created by passing the current through the coil placed in the magnetic field. We take a similar arrangement for a DC motor. But here, instead of passing current through the coil, in a DC generator, we rotate the coil to produce electricity. Thus, mechanical energy gets converted into electrical energy in form of direct current in case of a DC generator. Thus, a DC generator consists of a simple rectangular coil ABCD which is made of insulated copper wire and the coil is placed between the two poles of a powerful magnet. Also, the arms AB and CD of the coil are perpendicular to the direction of magnetic field. The two ends of the coil are connected to two halves P and Q of a split ring. The inner sides of these halves are insulated and attached to an axle. The half rings can rotate freely around the axle and the axle may be mechanically rotated from outside to rotate the coil inside the magnetic field to create motion. The external conducting edges of the two half rings P and Q touch the two conducting brushes that is X and Y. But in this arrangement, we will get direct current not alternating current and this is because one brush is at all times in contact with the arm moving up in the magnetic field while the other is in the contact with arm moving down. Thus a unidirectional current is produced and the generator is thus called a DC generator. So that was all about a DC generator. In the next lesson we shall understand the working of a DC generator in detail. Until then, bye-bye.